Alrighty, yeah, then. Are you ready? Okay. So is it possible to edit 8K video on a laptop? So here I've got the Gigabyte Aero 15. This is the OLED 4K screen model. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. And what we're going to do, I'm going to come into the Gigabyte Control Center here. And what I'm going to do is come to the manager and I'm going to make sure that we're on high performance. And I'm going to come down to the smart dashboard and we'll also make sure these boxes are all checked. So that should give us maximum performance. I'm also going to come to the smart utilities or the device settings, I should say. And I'm going to set the fan here to gaming to give us maximum cooling power. So it could get quite noisy with the fan, so I apologize in advance. So let's turn on gaming mode, or at least gaming fan mode. So now the laptop set to be on maximum performance. I've also got the laptop plugged into the power supply just so we're not relying on battery life or battery power. So that's the laptop set up for high performance. I've already got this Premiere Pro project opened and inside this I've got some 8K footage and I got this footage from Raw Film and this is the content that I downloaded and I downloaded this in 8K format. I can hear those fans spinning up already. So I'm gonna just close down the browser and what I'm gonna do is open up this sequence that contains this clip Notice here we've got the playback resolution set to full. What I'm going to do is just hit this little spanner icon and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn on the show dropped frame indicator and you can see this little green thing here. If this is green it means that the preview playback isn't dropping any frames. In other words we're getting smooth playback. So here's this 8k clip. First off I'm going to try scrubbing through the timeline and you can see that it kind of works. It is a bit laggy though, so if I move quite smoothly, you can see the jerkiness in the program monitor here. I'm also going to turn on loop playback here, and let's see what happens if we try and playback this 8K footage at full resolution in the program monitor. And you can see straight away that this is like super jerky, it's actually stopped. It might start again. So this is pretty unusable and you can see the dropped frame indicator here is orange which means that we're getting dropped frames which is pretty obvious from the playback. Let's try and drop down the playback resolution. We'll try it at half resolution. We still get the dropped frame indicator showing yellow and we can still see the playback's quite jerky. Let's try and drop it down to a quarter resolution now. We'll just give it a second to catch up. Still pretty jerky, not quite as bad as when it was on full resolution. Now it's caught up a little bit on this quarter resolution. It's actually probably usable, although we're still getting dropped frames here. Let's try and drop down the playback resolution to 1 8th. See what happens. I can hear the fan on the machine quite loud now, so this is obviously taxing the laptop a little bit. We're still getting dropped frames here. What we're going to do is just, let's just stop it and come back to the start and we'll see if we can scrub through. So you can see at 1 8th resolution the scrubbing is pretty fluid here. We're not really getting any jerkiness. I can scroll through quite quickly. So this is quite usable from a scrubbing point of view. What I'm going to do is open up the task manager here. So you can see the performance live as we preview or playback this footage in Premiere Pro. So I've still got loop playback enabled. I'm going to hit play again. Notice that the CPU spikes quite high. It's dropping down a bit now. And the playback indicator is staying green, which means we're not dropping any frames, which is good. We'll just let this loop through a couple of times, just to make sure it's not a fluke. So it looks like the CPU is staying at under 100%. And we've still got no dropped frames is good. If I increase this again, let's just increase it back to one quarter, see what happened to the CPU, and we can see that the CPU is completely maxed out now. We're also getting dropped frames. So I'm just going to drop it back down to one eighth. And eventually the CPU comes back down to under 100%. And if we just stop playback, 
and we start it here. Once again, we get the green indicator, meaning that there's no drop frames. Just gonna minimize the task manager. Just gonna hit control tilde to go full screen. So even though we're at 1 8th resolution, it still looks pretty good on this OLED display. Just hit escape. Notice in full screen though, we must have had some dropped frames, but it looked pretty good. Alrighty then. Time for some coffee. Let's see what happens if we try and add an adjustment layer and then add some color grading. So I've got this adjustment layer. Just going to add that all the way along and we'll come over to color and we'll add some Lumetri adjustments. I don't know, let's just modify the color temperature a bit, make it look a bit cooler and maybe drop the exposure a bit, increase the contrast. Just doing a few random things really. Let's come into the creative section. I don't know, let's add some faded film effect. Let's maybe do some random color grading here. So I'm gonna come back to the editing workspace. Once again, we've got loop playback on. The fans are pretty loud. I'm just gonna take a look at the CPU usage. Okay, still under 100%. Let's try playback again with the color grade. So at the start, it looks pretty good. I'm getting no drop frames. Interestingly, the CPU spiked above 100, but it's settled back down again. And the green frame indicator here is showing us that we're not getting any drop frames. And it looks pretty good in the program monitor. Let's have a look at it full screen. Once again, I'm gonna hit Control Tilde. And it still looks pretty good and pretty smooth even though we're at one quarter playback. Once again, the drop frame indicator has gone yellow here. So when we're in full screen, it must be taxing things a little bit more and we're dropping the occasional frame, but it looked pretty good. I'm also gonna look at some 4K drone footage in a minute just to compare the playback at full screen to see if we can do 4K editing at full resolution. But at the minute, we're having to use 1 8th resolution to edit this 8K footage. But bear in mind, this is only a 4K screen on this machine, so it actually doesn't make sense to try and edit at full resolution, even though if we change this to full, we can't actually use it. It's not really usable. It's far too jerky. So ideally on a 4K screen, we'd wanna be able to edit 8K footage at half resolution to get us roughly at that 4K mark, but we can't do that. We have to drop it down to 1 8th. It also brings up the question why you'd wanna edit 8K footage on a laptop. It might be useful sometimes, but in reality, if you're working with an 8K project and you've got a lot of effects and also a lot of color grading, you're more likely to be editing on a pretty decent beast of a PC or Mac Pro, for example. But it's kinda of cool to know that it is possible. We could also go and create proxies for this 8K file to help us a bit. Let's take a look next at this 4K drone footage. Just gonna close this down come over to this sequence. So this is some footage from a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. This is 4K footage. We don't currently have any effects. We're on full playback resolution here. Let's see what happens. And it looks pretty smooth. And we can see that we're getting no dropped frames. Let's have a look at this full screen. And it looks pretty good. This is in D-Log at the minute, so that's why we're getting a bit of desaturation and not quite as much sharpness. So this is 4K footage, and we're editing this in full resolution, which is pretty cool on a laptop. Let's go and add an adjustment layer again. Put it up here, and we're gonna add some color grading to see if that affects anything. Come back to the color workspace and to Lumetri. Just come up to basic correction. Once again, I feel like making this a bit warmer. I'm just gonna do some slightly random changes here. Just going to increase the contrast, bring the shadows down a bit, just bring the highlights up, bring the blacks down a bit. It's kind of a bit random. Let's also add some sharpening. It's gonna look pretty horrendous probably, but just for demo purposes. Okay, so we've got a few different effects applied in Lumetri there. 
Let's see if we can still play back at full resolution. And that looks pretty good. There's no drop frames. I'm going to turn on loop playback and we'll just loop through this just to make sure it's not a fluke. So once again, this is 4K drone footage at full screen resolution or full resolution playback. So coming to the end of the clip now, let's see what happens when it loops. And it's looped around and we still haven't got any drop frames. And once again, hit control tilt to go full screen. And this is looking pretty good. Obviously the color grade needs a bit of work, but the actual clarity or the resolution of the playback is pretty good. Nice. Okay. So it is possible to edit 8K footage on a laptop, albeit at 1.8 playback resolution. The cool thing is though, if you're just working with 4K footage from a camera or drone, it's possible to edit and even apply some effects like color grading and still have full resolution playback without needing proxies. So even though we can't edit native 8K RAW files in full resolution playback, we can edit 4K footage on a laptop, which is pretty amazing. So I should also mention that none of the things I've talked about in this video I'm being paid to talk about. This is completely a not sponsored video. And if you want to see a video where I unbox this particular laptop, I'll put a link in the description. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos related to video editing and photography. See ya.